What we'll demonstrate now is a five minute warm up prior to start a throwing motion or a game situation. We'll start with arm circles, starting small, gradually getting bigger. On each one of these are 10 repetitions. So we'll do five in one direction, five in the other. The next one are arm hugs. Bring the arm across the body. Care is given so the arm does not go beyond the plane of the body or beyond your shoulder. Next ones are arm swings overhead, alternating arm motion, getting a nice stretch on your shoulder, lats. Next one is internal and external rotation, alternating motions going into almost like a field goal type of position. Next we'll start with some trunk flexibility, side to side twists, shoulders, rotating from right to left. Each stretch is done for five repetition. Next are side bends, stretching the oblique muscles, the abdominal muscles. Nice and easy, preparing the body to begin a throwing motion. Next are lats. The latissimus dorsi is a powerful muscle that internally rotates and is important in the acceleration phase of the throw and often gets tight. This stretch is done for a second or two and should produce no shoulder pain. Next are cross body stretches, arm up at 90, bring the arm across the body, getting a stretch on the back of the shoulder as well as your scapula. Again, these are dynamic warm-ups that last for a second or two. Next, we'll do a forearm stretch for the flexor pronator muscle group. Follow that up with an extensor stretch. So you'll just go back and forth, stretching the front of your forearm as well as the back of your forearm. Many times your forearm and arm gets tight from throwing. Now that the stretching is done, we'll progress to some TheraBand resisted types of movement. In this case, we'll use TheraBand CLX. And we'll start out with internal and external rotation down at zero. This is working the internal rotators or the front of the shoulder. After internal rotation, now we'll go to the back of the shoulder, posterior musculature, the external rotators. Good posture, stand up nice and straight and you can place your opposite hand at your side to be sure that your arm doesn't fly away from your body. Next will be internal external rotation up at 90 degrees, so up in the throwing position. 10 repetitions, nice easy motion, easy resistance is performed. After internal rotation, we'll do external rotation, the back of the shoulder, which is often a problem in the throwing motion. This is an important movement, critical to maintain arm care and arm health. Next is a reverse fly. The band can still be fixed at the same angle, and you're bringing the arm across your body, stopping even with your body, not going beyond the plane of the body. Nice and easy type of motion, works the scapular muscles, the back of the shoulder, and is critical, again, to maintain strength in season. Next is the fly motion itself, coming across, working the pectoralis major, as well as the anterior deltoid and latissimus.
The last ones will reproduce a throwing motion. The first one will be a reverse throw, where you stand, straddles, stride, bringing the band up overhead, creating a strengthening type of movement, again, on the back of the shoulder and scapula and trunk. Ten repetitions are performed. Nice, easy pace, enough to warm up the arm. Next, turning around, you'll go into the throwing motion itself using the band. From here, we'll go up into the 90 90 position next and do some fast speed internal external rotation. Good. Good motion, quicker motion, preparing the army, arm for throwing. Lastly, once the arm is warmed up, start tossing with a baseball. Nice, easy to begin with, about 25, 30 feet, gradually going to 45 feet. Crow hop, use your legs, your trunk. Nice, easy tossing, increase the distance. We recommend 45 feet to 60 to 90 to 120 feet. From there, you would go to your position, whatever that is, off the mound, or your position on the field to reproduce the throwing motion. By doing these exercises, it prepares your body to pitch, to play, and to play healthy.